and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new I apologize for my voice I think I sound worse in my own head than what I actually sound like out loud but I was sick for the last couple of days I feel much better I just have a wonky voice right now I really need to do some decluttering in the living room because we are getting ready for Christmas and putting all of the decorations up but I don't want to be decorating on top of clutter there's not really a lot in there that needs to be decluttered, but I would like to do something with our shoes. Um, you guys know we have that basket that's overflowing with shoes. I think I have a solution for that. And also go through the kids' toys because my kids have birthdays before and after Christmas. And if I don't do something with the toys, we will be overwhelmed. <laughs> so I really wanna do something with those today. Just clean out things they don't play with. Um, but. We're gonna do a crock pot potato soup. Uh, we're actually gonna get that going first. So I'm gonna do that and maybe make some overnight oats and pancakes for the freezer, but I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and hop over to the crock pot and get our potato soup on. By the way, I'm wearing this comfy Mickey Mouse sweater. I found this at Walmart. I wear it a lot actually because it's so comfy. Uh, the inside of it is like that really soft, fuzzy material it's so warm anyways it's from walmart and it's super comfy okay so i'm kind of just doing my own thing here sometimes what i'll do is i'll pull up recipes on pinterest and i'll use them as my base guide but i'll kind of tweak them to do my own little thing which is pretty much what i'm doing um but i can put the recipe that i am using as my base guide in the description box for you guys but it's really easy um so basically you just need some potatoes obviously i've got some russet potatoes i'm probably going to peel those and um, cut them into bigger chunks instead of cutting those into smaller pieces right now i'll just cut them into bigger chunks and then once they soften up in the crock pot i can take the potato masher and just give those a chop and that'll be so much easier a uh, stock of celery I'll probably put in I got some ham here um, which is what I originally bought this for but we've also got some ham left over from yesterday that we baked in the oven so I'll probably chop this up throw that in along with this a small yellow onion that I'll chop up and throw in some garlic chicken broth this is a 32 ounce carton and once the soup is all done I'll throw in some Colby Jack that I'll shred up and a block of cream cheese. I'm gonna let this set out and be coming to room temperature so it melts down easier, but that's pretty much everything you're gonna need. So I'm gonna go. Also, I will have a clip at the end of the video showing you guys what the soup came out like. It was so good. We had very little leftovers. The only thing I would change is maybe the brand of cream cheese that I use. I've always had trouble with great value cream cheese for some reason, not wanting to melt down like it's supposed to. And I thought maybe bringing it to room temperature before I added it in would help, but it didn't. So I recommend just using Philadelphia cream cheese if you make this or you can use heavy cream in place of the cream cheese i just like the flavor that the cream cheese gives I just set this on high for six hours. I'm going to 
gonna go ahead and let some sunshine in, do a quick little tidy here in the living room. And then I've got a new shoe cabinet I wanna get installed there in the hallway so we can do something about our shoes. walk into our front door we keep this shoe basket mostly shoes that we wear on a regular basis so we can just slip them on and off as we come and go the only problem is that it's kind of an overflowing mess and we have to dig a lot of times to even find our shoes that always results in a mess because we're having to dump all the shoes out to find what we're looking for so i'm so excited to be partnering with homery on today's video and finally having a solution to our shoe problem homery is an online home furnishing platform they have all kinds of different furniture to choose from for all areas of your home they do have a 48 hour dispatch section so that your order will ship out to your house within 48 hours this cabinet is so slim and sleek we were able to install this right in our hallway without it taking up any of the walking space we have a pretty narrow hall so I was a little concerned about that but it ended up being perfect the shoe cabinet mounts to your wall as well so you don't have to worry about babies or toddlers pulling it over I just used a couple of one inch boards to place under the cabinet to get it at the height that I wanted it onto the wall and that way the boards would hold it in place while I secured it it comes with these little anchors to put into your wall to help support the weight of the cabinet. Installation only took me about 10 minutes and I'm seriously thinking about getting another one because we have the perfect amount of room here beside it to add one more. They hold nine pair at a time so I think having just one more would be perfect. These are great if you live in a small space like we do because it didn't take up any extra room and our shoes are now hidden out of the way and out of sight. Also want to mention this cabinet does also come in black as well as different sizes to fit your needs. Homery is going to be having great prices during their Black Friday sale from November the 24th to the 29th. There will be a flash sale as low as $9.99 every day. So if you're in need of furniture, definitely check out Homery. A big thanks again to Homery for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So here we are, those I'm going to donate, these I need to put back into my closet. I've got some room in there, I can put shoes that we just don't wear that often. But this is perfect. So we got the boys shoes, some of Kai's shoes I think are in my car. Um, so I put theirs up top, I should probably put mine up top and then put theirs in the middle but it's okay. I've got some of my flip flops, my slides, and my dirty tennis shoes I need to clean. I wore them to the pumpkin patch and they haven't been the same since. So I need to wash those. Um, but here on the bottom I put all of Ray's shoes. Not all of them, but the shoes that she wears the most. Her Crocs, her boots, her sandals. Um, so they will be easily accessible to her. But this is so perfect. I love that it mounts to the wall so you don't have to worry about your kids knocking it over and the shoes are super easy to find we don't have to dig in the basket anymore we can just open up the little doors and our shoes are literally right there in front of us i love it i will have the link down below as well as a discount code
help mama get through some toys? Well, we got some, there's some kids that need toys for Christmas. So, I thought we could go through your toys and pick out some things you want to give them. So most of these toys are Canes and Rays. Kai doesn't really play with toys too much anymore, but while I had Ray down for a nap, I recruited Kane to help me go through the toys. I told him that we needed to clean out what we don't play with anymore to give to other kids for Christmas, and that really motivated him so much. He even wanted to go to the Dollar General afterwards to throw in some new stuff. He has the biggest heart ever. By the way, this is about the gist of the toys they have. Since moving in with my mom, we haven't had space to keep a lot of toys, so we've had to downsize and pick and choose what we bring in. They also take a lot of stuff to their dad's houses, but I found that a lot of toys don't always make your kids happy. They used to have so many toys, they would get overwhelmed and couldn't see half of what they had. You can go back and watch some of my older videos in the old house and there is a big difference in what they used to have versus what they have now. But honestly, it's just so much simpler like this and they actually get to enjoy what they do have without being too overwhelmed. So with all that said, I think even after we move out of my mom's house, Back into our own, the toys will be kept at a minimum. My bed sheets need a wash in anyways, but I also self tan last night and when I self tan, I always let it sit overnight and then I do my rinse. And the tanner that I use transfers onto my sheets. I don't like to use that tanner, but I will use it if I'm out of my other. My favorite is the St. Morris. I get it off of Amazon, but when I'm out, I use the Tanned AF from Walmart and that's what I had used last night. So I'm just going to do a quick little afternoon cleanup, wash up the dishes, get some laundry folded. The soup was coming in on the last hour of cook time so here in a few I'll be adding the cream cheese to that. I also still needed to get the pancakes made for the freezer. I didn't make it to the overnight oats but that's fine. We don't always get to everything on our to-do list. These bubbly sparkling waters, by the way, are absolutely disgusting. I was expecting them to be something like the other sparkling waters that I've had, but they are nothing at all like those. They're bitter. I don't understand the hype around them at all, but I'm going to be passing these along to someone who likes them. I'm ending up so clueless. What are you trying to find? I'm running with these 
potatoes into bigger pieces like that and then using my chopper to break them up after they were soft saved me so much time versus cutting them into smaller pieces before I put them into the crock pot. to quickly make up a few freezer pancakes. I ended up just finishing what was in the bag because there wasn't much. I like to go ahead and do this on my griddle because I can do a lot at one time and get done much faster, but I'll stick these in the freezer and we like to reheat in the mornings for breakfast.
here's what this soup looked like all done. I topped mine with a little shredded cheese. And like I said earlier, we had very little leftovers. So it was a hit. Remember, if you watched this far, to leave a butterfly emoji in the comments down below just to let me know that you were here. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.